back with the uh, games guides reviews. Post more videos. I uh, got all the Bioshock stuff done, so I just gotta upload that. But God of War 3, epic. Um, so I'm just gonna be doing not as many videos as this, some normal guys. Just doing the more important boss battles and some of the more difficult sections. So this is, of course, for Titan difficulty. We're gonna start off from where you first pick up control of Kratos. Um, using those grappling moves is really helpful. Not, not really all that bad. We got plenty of health to spare. As an animator, I just love watching those titans, just because... Oh, it's so cool how they got the big slow movements. Like, not that they're slow, but they still look big, because that's kind of a hard thing to do. A lot of, looks like, overshooting and that sort of stuff. Very good. Skipping... No, no, it's not skipping ahead, is it? No, it wasn't. Watching that guy get pulled off the cliff. I just love things like that. It's so cool. So some more enemies are going to drop down. Um, just pick them off. Same thing as before. Use a block thing. Rolling. Rolling is kind of... Big thing I want to use. Do um. do pulling out that tree. And then there's just gonna be Three or so enemies down the path there. Pretty easy to deal with. You can just grab one and do the ramming thing. Stand on up. And then there's three enemies, but bam! Crack. Or it is a crack, I think. I don't know. Love the water effect on it. So basically, the best attack you can use is L1 and Circle. It's a really powerful focus attack. Gives you about hit 15 hits for each thing. And sometimes you get two off. Um, so you'll see them mirror back like that to do the water spurt. That does quite a bit of damage. It does about a third of your health bar. You want to make sure you're rolling away from that. But yeah. So you see his head rear back, wait a bit, and then roll to the other side. After enough damage, he'll fly the arm back, and then you'll be on the underside. So just keep hitting him, and then when he rears back like that, just double press X quickly to move away. Like, like you can see in the video there. It's pretty easy like that. You shouldn't really even get any damage if you do, do your timer right. Yeah, well, I got damaged there. And then eventually she'll move her hand back. And then you'll be crawling up the face of the cliff. This one's pretty easy to dodge as well. Same idea, moving quickly. You can still hit him while he's doing the uh, spray. Keep hitting all the way over, and uh, level up their arm. Use that time to run, run in a few of the L1 plus zero. And then he'll start doing that three, all the claws thing. When you see it rear back that big, you want to get to the very end of the little platform. 
And then uh, sometimes it'll... Wait, no, that's a different one. So yeah, that L1 to circle thing is probably your best bet. And you don't want to get greedy like that. You want to get out of the way. See, when you move back like that, move out of the way there. I didn't... Work. So that cut off right after I died. I forgot to record the last pit for some reason. But it's the same idea. It ends right after. So after you beat the centaur... Um, we'll get to this next stage. This one's pretty easy actually. You should have more experience with dodging. So I run up. Watch for those attacks. So when he does that, he's gonna go left, right, left. And or alternating the other way, so just keep rolling back before they can hit the leg. The L1 plus circle thing isn't quite as useful here because you, once you're in that combo, you can get out of it. So you don't want to get stuck. So try not to use it too much. So yeah, rotating back and forth, hitting the legs. This will start the uh, sequence where you tear off his chest plate. Almost so. You're gonna block those attacks. Keep trying the presses. I believe in that uh, square. Oh, it will be square, yes it will. But you don't want to fail like I did. We need to get back to that part though. Circle button. Tear off the limb. And do the same set of attacks. And I'll just uh make sure we get another way. When he does that, we jump up. Well, I don't know if jumping up if it's a wave. I don't remember. Must be a wave. So yeah, just make sure you jump up when you see the wave. When you do that. And... I'm gonna tear open his chest. And then you're gonna see that claw there, you're gonna run back and grab it. And then, uh, cue the next part of the fight, seeing the next video, guys.